Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, come join me, Sagittarius. I'm doing a reading for you for the month of August. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, earth, Venus, and Sagittarius, this message could resonate for you. Um, keep in mind that you could be on a different timeline. Uh, for some of you, Sagittarius, this message could have been something that happened in your past. For some of you, this could be something that's happening to you right now. And for others of you, this could be something that's going to happen to you in the future. So keep that in mind. I'm doing a spread just to check your overall energy. I'm going to do a career and finance spread if that doesn't come out in your overall energy. And then I'll do a actual love spread with the Celtic cross at the end. All right, Sagittarius. I'm using the... I keep forgetting the Gilded Tarot, my old school deck that I've had the longest. This is my oldest deck, so don't fail me now. All right, so let's see what we got here for a Sag. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, overall energy for Sag for August 2021. Overall energy for August 2021. And I do not take reversals, just to let you know, <clears throat> unless I am called to take it as a reversal. One more. All right. I really need some lotion. All right. <laughs> Okay, so Sagittarius, there's some type of choice that you're making here in your overall energy. You're being asked to make this choice, to choose this path with your heart, not with your mind, not with your eyes, not with your instincts, not with anything but your heart here. Um, I look like I've been crying because I just got through watching the Lorax with my kids, so <laughs> damn mad <not> me. <laughs> yes, I'm a crybaby. Okay. There could be something you're planning when it comes to your money. I'm getting this energy that you might be watching somebody or somebody might be watching you. And there is some type of shocking information, news, or situation that's coming in for you, it looks like. All right, let's get into this and see what's really going on. Show me the two swords. All right, so we got the King of Cups here. For the two of swords this could be something that you're in your feelings about something that you're emotional about but you're not letting on like you're not really displaying those emotions kind of maybe holding back show me the eight of pentacles Yeah, you got the four of pentacles, more energy of holding back here. Keeping things close to your chest, blocking yourself off from having to make a decision here, possibly. You could also be um, having some type of situation with your finances that you're saving for. I'm still seeing that you're planning here with your money. You're planning something with your money, so you could be saving and holding on to your money for something specific. All right, let's see what this two of wands is. Did I even show you guys these cards? <laughs> we got the two of swords with the king of cups clarifying. You have the eight of pentacles with the four of pentacles clarifying. You have the two of wands, the tower, and the page of swords. You're looking to make a choice here about something. You're choosing a path that you think that's going to bring you a victory here. Show me the tower. Or you might have chose that path and the path, the path in the past in which you thought would bring you a victory. But I'm seeing a tower moving here instead. Single and independent Sagittarius. This could have been your tower moment. 
you could have done something when it came or had a choice when it came to uh, came to a relationship and perhaps you chose wrong and that ended up having you single or perhaps you chose to be single and that caused you some type of tower moment after leaving a situation I need to get more clarification here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Show me the page of swords. So you're watching somebody right now trying to see if it's okay for you to move towards the situation. Show me the king of cups and the two of swords. So you could be waiting for the right moment to express your emotions, express yourself. I feel like you're holding back. You're stuck in your feelings and you're not exactly sure how to let these feelings out possibly. There's something that you're emotional about or some something that you care about that you're not expressing. There's some type of feelings that you're having that you're not expressing is what I'm trying to say. You're waiting for the right moment. You could possibly be waiting for some type of security or some type of response or some type of sign to show you that it's the right time to express these feelings. Show me the four of pentacles. Woo, three of swords. I'm definitely feeling back. You're feeling like you're holding back because of a previous past heartbreak, or you could be scared to be heartbroken again with the three of swords here. So you're trying to strategize the best way it is to um, move the situation forward to where you're not really exposing yourself too much to where you don't get hurt. There's some type of fear here. I'm pretty sure the eight of swords or the nine of swords is going to come out if i draw enough cards i'm pretty sure it would because this is, i'm feeling like there's some type of fear here show me the six of wands the hangman yeah you're stuck you're holding yourself back you're not exactly sure how to proceed to move forward to a victory you want a victory you want to move forward you want a success but you're stuck like you're not making the choice you're not sure what choice to make in order to get a victory here show me the tower and the nine of pentacles but you're definitely not happy being single and by yourself king of wands yeah there's something or some something or someone that you're very passionate about somebody is very passionate about you you might be looking really good to other people you might have a lot of love offers coming in I'm also getting that there's something that you're wanting to pursue as far as business goes. And I feel like you are um, finding solutions to that problem, whatever it is with business, finances, career, whatever it is, I see that you're moving forward and being assertive in that role and it's going to keep you uh, stable financially. Whatever plans that you're making financially for your money, I see that it's going to be working out. As long as you don't be spending frivolous, 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 I can't even say the word, frivolous, <laughs> frivolous, frivolous, frivolously, frivolously, I don't know. As long as you don't just be fucking spending recklessly, okay? <laughs> okay. So you got the sun. Oh my God. And the five of wands with the eight of wands and the page of swords. So I'm feeling like with the sun and the five of wands that you are watching somebody you're ready to move forward towards them because like this is something that's already happening the eight of wands is something that's been set into motion and it can't be stopped this is happening so but it makes you happy but it also there's some type of competition here too i feel like you feel like that there's competition here but you're moving forward towards something that makes you really happy because you've been watching 
You might have been watching to see if there was any competition here. I'm going to go one more round here for the overall energy. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're waiting to offer your cup of love here as the King of Cups. But you haven't did it yet. Show me the Three of Swords. You're still planning and strategizing. Intuitively, you know that this is probably the right thing to do. This is the right move to make. Or intuitively, you can know that you're going to get hurt. Show me the hangman. So you're taking your time. There's a lot of stuck energy here. A lot of stuck. There's some shit that you are definitely not expressing here. Nah, there's a lack of expressing, expression. Show me the king of wands. Judgment call. Okay, so these two came out together. So it's the devil in reverse and the seven of swords. So there's definitely some type of strategy here that you're using, some type of something that's deceptive or strategic planning. I'm still getting planning here. And with the devil in reverse, ugh, over here with the tower, I'm not feeling like that's good energy. I could, I, I could feel you still looking back on the past too. So right now, Sagittarius, your overall energy is a stuck energy. You're stuck. You have not really fully decided yet on anything. That's what I'm getting. But there is something that's taking place um, by you watching somebody or somebody watching you. There's some type of action that's been set into motion that you can't change. And it's very weird because it puts you in type of in, in competition and it also makes you very happy. That's the weird part. You're happy to be in the running? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> you happy to be in the top three? The what? What is it? What is this energy? Okay. I'm going to use a different deck. I don't know why this keeps moving. Let's use this Osho deck for your career and finances. Let's look more into that. Some career and finances for Aquarius. Or Aquarius. Why did I say that? <laughs> you could be dealing with somebody who has Aquarius in your chart. You could have Aquarius in your chart somewhere. But Sagittarius, let's look at your career and finances. Show me career and finances for Aquarius for August. Yeah, I'm still seeing you being on your own and independent and doing well financially for yourself. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. So finances are looking like they're going to be pretty stable here in the month of August. Um, you're still going to be coming off very entrepreneurish, um, running your own business, possibly starting a new business, uh, going after your passions, pursuing things that excite you, being assertive in your goals, looks good, having new opportunities presented to you, show me the queen of principles, career and finances, the high refund. Number five in the major arcana. So yeah, you could have been getting guidance or um, knowledge from somebody else, somebody who you look at as an authority on the type of business you're in, or could have just been praying. Show me the queen of wands. Oh, that devil keeps coming out. 
I'm feeling here like you don't give a fuck. You're just going for your, you're going for what you know. That's what I'm getting here. Like the devil goes after their desires. And that teamed up with the queen of wands. Like you're passionate about this. And it's something that you desire. So you're hungry. Look at the, the that's a lion on there. Like that lion's hungry. It's surrounded by sheep. Shit, I think it's even tied to a sheep. We got a sheep tied on its back. So yeah, you're hungry. Or is that a lamb? Look, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like Sagittarius, when you put your mind to something, you're going for it. You're going after it and nothing's going to stop you. And that's what this devil energy is letting me know right now. Especially uh, clarifying the Queen of Wands. And then you have the three of pen, the three of wands and the hangman. <laughs> the three of wands is in reverse. So this is telling me that I feel like you're no longer waiting. You sacrifice what you have to sacrifice. You were looking at this in a new situation or not a new situation. You're looking at it with a new perspective, a new vision. That's the hangman. And you're not waiting anymore. You're going for it. You're moving forward towards it. Whether you're alone by yourself, you're single and independent, you're going to be able to do this. That's what I feel like you're telling yourself. Show me the source, which is the Ace of Wands. Isolation. Yeah. So you're getting this opportunity after some pain, after some hurt, after some realization that you might have to go this path alone for a little while or this part alone. There could be some type of pain, suffering, heartache. Just, I feel like there's just this sense of loneliness here. Like you really wanted to do this with somebody, but you're having to do it by yourself. And you're really open right now to having somebody come in. But you're by yourself. You're doing it by yourself still. Show me the hard part. Nine of Wands. You've been working on it by yourself. You've been working on it regardless of what you've been through romantically. I feel like you've just been toiling, working, 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 trying to figure out what, how you can best approach this in the most feasible manner here. But I'm still getting this longing, like, Because we got the nine of pentacles and the ice, the three of swords, the ace of wands. There's a lot of singular energy here. The nine of wands, but you're still going ahead. You're still pursuing your passions. You're still moving forward. I feel like you're going to accomplish your goals pretty quickly here. Probably uh, more quickly than you expect. And there's still a choice that you're supposed to be making here. I'm going to go one more. Show me the nine of wands. The emperor. You are going to be accomplishing your goals. Everything's going to be in order. Everything's going to go as you plan. You are going to be on top of shit. You're going to be running shit financially. And it's going to get you what you want. Look at this. Success. <laughs> I can't make it up. If I tried, you're moving towards that quickly. And you might have to do some shit that with this devil card here, it might not be all on the up and up. I'm just going to say that. It might not be all on the up and up. Shit, you might have to do something that might not be so legal or so good or so right. That's what I'm getting here. But you are moving towards success. Show me the hangman. Ace of Pentacles, damn straight. <laughs> uh, I'm going to reach that brass ring. That's what I'm getting here. You're going to reach the finish line regardless. Like, there's not, there's no question. Like, there's no question. You can't fail. You've sacrificed too much. That's what I'm getting here. You've sacrificed too much to fail. Show me the two of wands. 
there's a lot of wands energy here and a lot of pentacles here which means that you're passionate about getting this money that's what it's telling me the star wish fulfillment coming into alignment with what it is that you want that's letting me know right there Saj, you're gonna get what you want all right let's go ahead and get into your love spread you got good things coming in for you financially and you're working towards them you're moving towards them quickly 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 so don't get discouraged don't get in your head too much about it oh i just bent that card i like these cards because they don't stay bent i don't know what they're made out of but i done shuffled these mugs like a thousand times and they never bend in any direction <laughs> All right, I don't even want to use these for your Kelsey Cross. Not really. Let me use my babies for you. And this is the Tarot of Dreams. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. All right, Sag, I know I'm over here looking crazy. I don't care. All right. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius when it comes to love, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. We talked about career and finances. Let's see what's going on in love. Oh my God, how are you starting off with pages? The page of pentacles and the page of wands. You're showing up as the page of pentacles. Somebody who is definitely trying to learn about something tangible here. There could be some type of message that you're getting about finances too. And then you have the page of wands. This is somebody who, this is the challenge. <laughs> um, spending is the challenge right now. Uh, you, I mean, The page of wands is somebody who's mischievous. Somebody who's looking to get into some shit. But I feel like that's your challenge because, you know, there's probably other things that you want to do right now and, you know, other things that you want to spend your money on right now, but you're being guided possibly in order to reach your goals to not to do that. There's this, but this is a love spread. So for some reason, I don't know why these two things are intersecting for me, for you, money and love. Hmm. Let's see what's uh, supporting this spread is the six of swords moving to moving to moving to calmer waters, escaping the situation. You could have got yourself into some type of situation. Show me the recent past, the chariot. You trying to hurry up and get the fuck out of Dodge? What? <laughs> What did you do, Sagittarius? Like, what? I'm here incognito for some reason. The chariot is moving quickly towards a victory. We got the ace of coins over all of the spread. So it's like your mind. Oh, and the lovers will slip too. So there, there does seem to be like a new opportunity, a new, a great chance, a great opportunity for some type of love connection here. But the challenge is like, there's, there's like, I don't know, like you're, there's some type of immature, um, fleeting passions that you might have to tame here. That's what I'm getting here with these pages. ace of wands again so there's definitely you got two aces here there's definitely a new opportunity coming in for you here a new passionate opportunity in the near future show me how Sag is looking at relationships and love right now more pages Sag do you have a kid on the way what the fuck is going on here you got three pages here that's very youthful energy. You could be dealing with somebody who's very, very much younger than you or somebody that has children or somebody that you have pregnant or that somebody has you pregnant, Sag. What the hell is going on here? Or you could just be approaching love in a very immature way. Show me what's 
show me how others are viewing Sag right now. Or Sag's significant other is viewing them. Judgment. Hmm. Lord. The hopes and fears. The four of Wands and the Devil. You've gotten the Devil three times now. Three times, Sag. That's crazy. Like, what the hell are you on? And show me the potential outcome. The Tree of Life. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Tree of Life. I'm glad I used this deck. Okay, let me dissect this really quick. Because this here is some shit. All right, Sash, so you're you're coming off as the page of coins, somebody who's pretty much focused on what they're focused on, but you're approaching the situation as if you don't know, like that you're still learning. So if so, this is a love situation, but you're acting like you're still learning, like you don't know what to do, kind of, I feel like there's like a coyness to this energy right here, playing possum, if you will. Yes, especially with this... Uh, page of wands here there's some type of mischievousness that you're trying to overcome here too underneath this spread and supporting this whole reading is the uh six of swords you're de you're definitely wanting to move towards something more calmer when it comes to relationships i don't feel like you're in a relationship right now some of you could be in a relationship and if you are in a relationship there's some type of uh games that are being played here and now you're trying to move to the calmer waters. Maybe your partner is playing some type of mischievous game or tit for tat game here, um, acting coy or whatever, and that's making it a challenge and you just wanna to move to calmer waters here. In the recent past, I feel like somebody did uh, hurry up and do something here. Like they charged ahead. You could have left the situation already you could have left someone, someone could have left you, but somebody feels like they have a victory here, like they came out better than the other person. And then the overall feeling, the overall thoughts, the overall emotions of the whole spread is the ace of coins and the lovers. So you're thinking about this new great opportunity that you have to be with somebody that you feel really connected to, really passionate about. There's strong chemistry there with you and this person. So there is somebody here. There is definitely somebody here and there's an offer that wants to be made here too. But here again, we have this youthful energy. Somebody's not really sure how to proceed with this love connection. The Page of Cups is somebody who's learning about love. They're very um, enamored and very, what's the word I'm looking for? They're very, they're, they're very much wanting to go towards love and learn about love, but you're not exactly sure how to approach this specific situation. I feel like you thought you had a lot of experience in love, but this person is, uh, with their coyness probably like with their inability to be so forward that's what i'm getting that it might be a challenge for you you feel like they're playing possum or they're playing hard to get or something like that with the judgment card being here i feel like you finally made the decision either to go for it or to go away from it we're finna see and your hopes or fears which we have too so possibly in your fears, you're feeling a fearing that this could be some manipulation, some toxic shit, something that's not good for you, or you could be trying to control the situation. And then in your hopes, you're hoping that this pans out to somebody who's going to be there for you, somebody who's going to come into union with you, somebody who's going to be your counterpart here, your, uh, somebody you can marry and grow old with, live together with, come together in union with. This is the 1111 card, the twin flame. The lovers is the twin flame. That's what I'm feeling like you're hoping for here. And then as the outcome, you have the tree of life. Whatever, whoever this person is and whatever the situation is, this is a part of your destiny. 
whether it's forever i don't know we're gonna find out whether it's a lesson i don't know we're gonna find out so but there's something going on here i don't know which cards i want to use Just to make it saucy. Alright, cut the cards. Alright, let's see what this page of pentacles is doing here. So yeah, you could have been just watching this situation, learning, trying to figure out if this was something worth investing in. It's trying to figure out if what you have invested in already is going to turn up some type of profit not in the money in the money sense but like if it's worth it for you to continue to invest in for you to continue to plant seeds here show me the page of wands the queen of cups yeah i feel like this person is probably holding back their feelings from you or they're not really being expressive about their feelings and you're trying to find out if they do have uh deep emotions for you or deep feelings for you I feel like you know this person is very emotional already. They've shown you something, but you're not exactly sure if they are where you are or how you, they're feeling as deep as you're feeling in this situation. Oh my God. The Emperor. So you're wanting to move forward, get control over the situation, put things in order. I feel like there's, it's not going the way you thought it would like you know how things go like there's stages to relationships that's what i'm just getting like a clock turning and then the cogs are all spinning and then this one makes this one spin i feel like this situation is not going that way and you're a little bit confused here show me the chariot I feel like in the past you were trying to hurry up, rush into this and see what's going on, but something slowed you down here. The Four of Swords. That's like a break. So you might have been moving really fast in the past or you might have wanted to rush into this in the past, but you had to stop yourself because you realized that this wasn't something that was traditional here it wasn't not i'm not not traditional but like it wasn't moving at a pace that you usually are used to relationships moving at that's what i'm getting here which could be pretty quickly here with all these wands and swords here that's what i'm getting show me the ace of coins and the lovers so yeah this person or this situation Whoever this is, this is like some type of wish fulfillment for you. This person makes you really happy. They make you feel good about yourself. They make you feel loved and cared for. Oh. But they also make you worry at night. Cause maybe some sleepless nights. You could be having dreams about this person too. You could be up worrying about what they're doing at night. For some reason, this connection... Uh, causes you a little bit of anxiety but it's what you want this is what you want you know for sure that this person makes you feel really good and you would love to have an opportunity with them show me the ace of wands and i do feel like the opportunity is presenting itself for this person and you the ace of swords i feel like pretty soon here you're going to speak your truth to this person you're going to create the opportunity here with this Ace of, Ace of Wands. You're going to say how you feel. I feel like you're tired of her holding back. You're tired of not really putting it out there on the table. Because <laughs> you might have been talking to this person. There could be... I mean, you already have feelings for this person. I'm already seeing that. And you feel like this person has feelings for you too. There's some fear here. Show me the page of cups. You're not sure if this person is juggling. And you're, you're possibly could be juggling someone too. 
or you could just be juggling the idea of how to approach the situation because it's i'm feeling like there's something that's unusual about the situation to you it might not be unusual to that person or it might not be unusual to the realm of relationships in general but i'm feeling like you feel like there's something unusual or different about the situation and you're not exactly sure how to approach it i feel like you're coming at it from a place of not knowing of inexperience youthfulness that's why these pages are showing up here there also could be children involved in the situation which is causing some type of hesitation either on your part or on this person's part show me judgment so you've already decided that this is something that you want to work on, something you want to work towards. The judgment card sometimes signifies a resurrection of something too. So with that judgment card being here, and there's two aces here, there also could be a situation from your past that's wanting to be resurrected here too. I know nobody wants to hear that shit, but it is a possibility. And with the devil being here, there could be some type of toxic manipulation, interference, some type of desires here that are not being addressed too. Show me the devil. Yeah, there could be a lot of fear about rejection here, too. That's what I'm getting. Rejection. That could be what's holding you back here, too. But I feel like you're going to finally speak your truth to this person. You're going to come in and tell them how you feel in hopes uh, for an opportunity with this person. Show me the four of wands. Another ace. You got the ace of pentacles twice. Ace of coins, ace of pentacles. Same, same thing. So there's definitely a great chance here, a great opportunity presenting itself. Or that will be presenting itself. This could be something that turns into something long term here. Show me the tree of life. Seven of Wands. You're protecting yourself. Oh, two of cups. Y'all see that? It just slipped. You are protecting your path. You're protecting your purpose. You're just protective right now because you are definitely not sure if this is something that aligns with your future. Show me those seven of wands. Page of wands. Now you have page of wands twice here. You're really excited about this situation, but you're also protecting yourself, probably because of something in your past. I definitely feel like this is something that you don't think is normal. Like there's something about this situation that's not quite going the way that relationships normally go first we kiss then we have sex whatever or we go out to the movies on a date go on a few dates then i cook at your place you cook at my place and we have sex and then a couple months later we decide to get into a relationship and be exclusive then we move in together it's something about this the way things normally go which i guess is traditionally the way things normally go in relationships something's not going like that so you're a little confused about how to approach it that's what i'm getting all right let's get some message cards and then i'm getting out of here because this video is long as fuck 40 minutes of what me sitting here confused <laughs> all right let's get some moonology cards for this full moon we got going on it's time to release negativity Balance spirituality with practicality. So don't leave everything up to chance. Be practical about how you're approaching the situation. It's time to release negativity. Quit thinking negatively about, you know, what's going on in the situation. Work through your fears. That's what I said before. There's, there's some fear that I feel that's here. Like, you're scared. 
because this is not your traditional not what you're used to traditionally how your relationships normally move all right let's do some angel answers really quick Okay, within the next few months, you might be taking some type of action. Communicate clearly, and yes, if you have a question about the situation, if you're wondering if this person is for you, if, this, if your action that you take is gonna turn out well, the answer is yes. Let's do some romance angels. Give your relationship a chance. Wedding. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what this is. The Four of Wands. Look at this. I can't get them. The Four of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. Wedding here. You are looking at the long term with this person. Or this could be somebody that's, I'm saying, that was resurrecting the past here that you could have been married to. That could be some of this energy bleeding through. Or you could want to marry this person. Past life relationship. Oh my God, you've known this person before. This could be the one. So you got two soulmate cards here. I did not get this from this energy here. I feel like um, part of this, there is something that's trying to be resurrected here. But there's also somebody else who you can't quite figure out that you're interested in. Heart to heart conversation. So I feel like that's for this person. I feel like you might need to express yourself to this person. But there's something that's coming in from the past too that this is alerting me to here with these romance angel cards all right Sagittarius that's what I have for you I'm not gonna hold you up anymore because I'm already tired as fuck so yeah I wish you all the best um in this new endeavor or if you decide to resurrect the past endeavor I wish you the best either way so I really appreciate your likes subscriptions your comments um, if you hit that thumbs up button, that helps get this video circulating so other people can get this message. I really appreciate you guys so much. Blessings on blessings. Until next time.